The reshape tool is a combination of the older 3D reshape and 2D reshape tools from previous versions of Vectorworks. It changes function based on what kind of object or objects are selected. The reshape tool, activated by pressing the hyphen key on your keyboard or by double clicking on an object that the reshape tool is capable of modifying if that object doesn't have another editing mode built in. A few of these types of objects include polygons, 3D polygons, NURBS curves and surfaces, section lines, walls, roofs, site modifiers. With a 2D object selected, you'll see this set of modes. Move Polygon Handles allows you to simply move the existing vertices. The type of vertex does not matter. You can tell if you'll be able to modify the particular vertex or not simply by hovering over it. The cursor will change to square with arrows coming from each corner. This means you're able to modify the vertex that you're currently hovering over. Change Vertex. This mode will change the mode of the selected vertex. The different vertex options and how they behave will be covered shortly. Add Vertex allows you to add another vertex to the object you're reshaping. You can't simply click anywhere on the perimeter of the object, however. You can't simply click anywhere on the perimeter of the object, however. Click on a vertex nearest to the edge you wish to modify, and then you'll see the new vertex has been created. The new vertex is adjacent to the previously selected vertex point and can be set to a desired point with your cursor. Delete vertex, as you'd imagine, simply removes the selected vertex, directly connecting the two vertices that were previously on either side of it with a straight line. Hide or show edges allows you to hide any vertex that you click on directly. If you click on a corner vertex instead of an edge, it will hide the next edge after that corner in the shape. The reason this mode exists is simply for appearance. It does not remove the vertex as the delete mode does. It simply hides the line. This allows you to make a gap in a property line, for example, or hide the edge of a space so that it does not cross an open door threshold in a confusing manner. Next, let's go over the different vertex modes. This set of options essentially controls how the vertices are modified by the reshape tool. The corner point mode is the standard mode for shapes with straight edges. It simply changes direction at a precise point with no curve. A bezier curve travels between two points with a modifier handle allowing a more organic curve to be created. You can see that as I move this curve, the path will only tend to drift towards this control handle rather than passing through it. The next mode, cubic spline, will force the curve to pass through the control handle, then attempt to curve gently into and away from the handle itself, not allowing for any sharp angle creation unless I force the handle extremely close to one of the two endpoints. Radius allows you to manipulate a curve that will retain a constant radius arc, or a section of a complete circle. The arc will always pass through the control point, but the arc will not deviate from its curve. It will remain a perfectly circular arc. A fillet is an arc vertex defined in the preferences setting for this tool. You can see here that a circular arc is created, but any extra distance the path must travel will be done with a tangent off of the circular arc. When the control handle is moved near the middle of its two endpoints, it creates an arc similar to the radius mode. If moved closer to one of the two ends, you'll see a smaller circular arc created with a tangent line covering the remainder of the distance. These three modes are options for selecting multiple vertices at once. The default is the same as the regular selection tool, where it will draw a rectangular marquee via a single click and drag. Lasso marquee allows you to click and hold to draw a freehand marquee selection within the document. Any vertices covered by this highlighted area will be selected. Polygonal marquee mode allows you to draw a complex or precise selection shape with a series of single clicks double-clicking to end the selection drawing, or single-clicking at the original starting point. With a 3D object selected, such as a wall or 3D polygon, you'll see these modes. Move Vertex allows you to manipulate one vertex. In top plan view, you'll only be able to move an object along the X and Y axis. If you want to move one of these vertices in the Z axis, you would change to another view, such as front or side. Holding shift down while moving this vertex lets you lock to a particular axis for easier editing. Add vertex and remove vertex function exactly the same as their 2D counterparts do, letting you add or remove a vertex based on the other vertices around it. 
with certain kinds of 3D objects, such as this NURB surface, you'll have this final set of modes. These allow you to constrain your movement to a particular axis, effectively making it impossible for you to accidentally align a vertex to a snapping point inadvertently. Working plane will force the vertex to remain in the same orientation to its current working plane, or the ground plane, if a working plane was not assigned. It's the default mode of the reshape tool for these objects. The X, Y, and Z axis constraints do as you would assume, allowing the motion of the vertex in X, Y, or Z respectively, but in no other axis while that constraint mode is active. If you suddenly find yourself unable to modify vertices in more than one axis, make sure that one of these modes is not enabled. When modifying NURB surfaces specifically, you have a few different methods of control. First, if you double-click a NURB surface, you may see very few reshape handles by default. This can be modified via the U and V degree values in the Object Info Palette. Here I see only a very few selection handles, but by changing these values both to 5, I see I have now added a row of 5 selection handles in the U direction, as well as in the V direction. However, I don't need to keep these values identical. As you can see here, a value of 5 and 10 will create an additional 5 rows in the U direction, and then an additional 10 in the V direction. This allows for a great deal of control over a NURB surface. A tip for working with so many selection handles, you can hold down shift and select multiple vertices at once, allowing you to reshape a large group of them at the same time. The selected vertices are indicated by an increased size in the selection handle. Most objects in Vectorworks that aren't complex plug-in objects such as windows or doors can be modified by the reshape tool. It's also important to note that since the tool behaves differently in different views, wall objects, for instance, are modifiable from both the 2D and the 3D functions of the reshape tool. You should check your objects in both to see what reshaping abilities are available.